Hello girls and boys, welcome back to Read Me a Story. Greetings from Hong Kong. And welcome also to my grandchildren, Max, Theo, Josephine, Charlotte, Penelope, and Simon. Today I have a book especially for Simon, who loves dinosaurs. And he's a real expert on dinosaurs as well. Well, I'm going to read in a minute, but this is about my book first. I wrote it. It's called Tips and Tidbits for Parents and Teachers. And this will help your moms and dads to help you at home with your schoolwork. I wrote this book about all the things I learned in my 50 years of teaching in the classroom. And they can get it from amazonbooks.com. And I hope they will. It'll be very helpful to them. All right, so, especially for Simon, and there's a a surprise at the end. I'm not going to tell you what it is. Wow. Here we go. Dylan's amazing dinosaurs. The Tyrannosaurus Rex. Here we go. Oh, look at these footprints. That's a good way to start. an incredible treehouse. It was full of fantastic things and the most fantastic of all were Grandpa Fossil's Magic Dinosaur Journal and Wings, Dylan's toy pterodactyl. He came to life whenever Dylan opened the journal and they flew off on amazing adventures together to make awesome dinosaur discoveries. Let's see what they are. Hey, wings! Dylan called as he flung the journal open. I wonder what discovery we'll make today. Fact file. Bite. Three times as strong as a great white shark. Size, 12 meters, as long as a bus, and the weight of two elephants. Habitat. Forests, plains, and swamps. Extraordinary feature, teeth, the size of a man's hand. Tyrannosaurus Rex, hmm, Dylan read. So that's our mission, Wings. We need to find out how many teeth the T-Rex had. At the mention of a dino mission, Wings leaped to life, shook out her wings, and swooped down from the shelf. Let's go, let's soar off to the land where the dinosaurs roar, Dylan shouted. Dylan grabbed his binoculars as they flew over Roar Island. Look, Wings! A hadrosaur, Stegosaurus, Triceratops, and there's a Tyrannosaurus. Quick, let's land before we lose it. Dylan hopped off Wings and inched forward to get a better look at the gigantic creature. But he got too close. Roar! The T-Rex caught Dylan's scent in his nostrils. It turned its giant head and it bared its ginormous gnashers. Ho, ho, ho! What a picture. What teeth. Yikes! yelped Dylan as he started to run. Are those teeth for real? The ground shook beneath his feet. Fly over the T-Rex, Wings! shouted Dylan desperately. We have to confuse it! Dylan ran as fast as he could, but the T-Rex was still coming. Dylan dived, panting, into a hollow log. Phew! That was close! This is exciting. The T-Rex stopped and sniffed. The ferocious beast opened its jaws so wide that Dylan could feel its disgusting, meaty breath on his face. Dylan needed a plan, and fast. Can you think what he might do? Predict. Let's see. Got it. 
he said, and he crawled to the other end of the log. Time to go. Dylan shot out of the log just the, as the Tyrannosaurus sunk its teeth in. The giant dino shook its head and growled in frustration. Dylan's plan had worked. The T-Rex's teeth were stuck. Dylan dived into a nearby swamp and he watched the T-Rex try to get its teeth free from the log. Finally, with an earth-shaking snarl, the T-Rex freed its fearsome fangs. Turning its head, it hunted for its Dylan-shaped dinner. Sinking lower into the swamp, Dylan disguised his scent with stinky mud. He pulled grass over his head and he hid. He held his breath as the Tyrannosaurus' beady eyes and super sensitive snout scanned over him. It felt like forever, but at last the T-Rex caught sight of a tasty looking dinosaur dinner and charged off. Dylan searched the sky for wings. Help! The T-Rex is gone, but now I'm really sinking. Whoosh! Just in time, Wings swooped down and pulled Dylan out. Wow, thanks Wings, called Dylan. Now let's get that missing information before the T-Rex comes back for pudding. Wings dropped him by the log. Its teeth are huge, exclaimed Dylan, as he started to count the holes. One, two, three, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight teeth. That T-Rex has the meanest bite ever. Dino mission accomplished. Wings, let's fly. Dylan jumped on the pterodactyl's back and they took off for home. Back in the tree house, Dylan grabbed an apple and he took a huge bite, leaving the magic dinosaur journal onto his lap. That's heaving it onto his lap. He scribbled the number 58 into the T-Rex fat file. Hey, Wings, look. Dylan held out his apple. I can count my teeth, too. <laughs> Wings smiled and jumped back onto the treehouse shelf, ready and waiting for their next adventure. <laughs> well, that was interesting. That was a clever way of finding out how many teeth you have. Just bite into an apple. Well, I wonder if Simon knew that. The number of teeth. I bet he did. Look out for more amazing adventures with Dylan and Wings. Many more books. The Stegosaurus, the Spinosaurus, and the Triceratops. And here's the surprise. Look what we have here. A three-dimensional, ferocious dinosaur. And this book will be right in the hands of Simon when I see him this summer when I visit. Thanks for watching, girls and boys. I hope you enjoyed that dinosaur book as much as I hope that Simon did. And we'll see you next time for Read Me a Story. Don't forget, Read Me a Story by Pat Kazira on YouTube. Bye for now.